let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you and you may call me... Hey, what's going on, guys? This is very tremorous, but you can call me VT. Why? Well, some disease-infested and bred degenerate got me sick three days before my wedding, so we're going to go roll with that instead of the traditional. But we're going to power through it with a plethora of drugs, vitamins, and alcohol, because that's the American way. Now, let's get right into it. I'm pushing out another Final Fantasy Explorers video that will hopefully help you all on your way to becoming an expert explorer. I want to spend just a quick minute talking about monster companions in the game. While I may need to revisit this topic once I've unlocked the Beastmaster job, I feel there is still some basic information I can provide you all. So the first thing you need to know is exactly how to get monster companions, and this is pretty simple. Head out on any quest or simply explore and kill a lot of the monster you want. That's it. A random, slightly low percentage item will eventually drop that looks like this. Easily recognizable because your character will do a special animation and will now be the proud owner of an Atmolith. Once you have that, there are a few things you can do with it. The most obvious is you can turn it into that monster. It costs a pretty penny sometimes, and you can't tell the beginning stats of the monster before you create it. However, once you actually do create it, you can view its stats, and you want to pay particular attention to the green and red arrows next to them. Green means that particular stat will upgrade more efficiently, and red means less efficient. This can vary from monster to monster, and also pay attention to its abilities as these can also differ. You can also use the Atmoth to power up monsters you've already created, but this is a complete waste as monsters you bring with you on quests will gain much more experience at virtually no cost. You can synthesize items with it, and you can also boost your equipment stats with Atmos, which is what I recommend if you have a bunch of extras. Then from either the Monster Lab screen, or right before you leave for a quest, you can manage your monsters. This is a simple system, much like load for abilities, where each monster has a certain value assigned to it, either 100, 200, or 300, and you can only hold up to 300 points in monsters. When on a quest, your monsters are your teammates. You can lock onto them from the bottom screen, buff them, and then heal them. There's another option on the bottom screen that manually forces your monsters to attack with a specific ability. This is observed on their ability screen by the small star next to an attack. Monsters will max out at level 50, and you can bring any combination of human and monster allies into battle with you, so long as the total count doesn't exceed more than 4 allies. And that's really all there is to Monster Companions, guys. Keep it right here for more Final Fantasy Explorers, as I'll be bringing more videos in the coming days and weeks. And as always, take it easy.